What is up guys and girls of YouTube? I am Justin Amoe. Let me go ahead and make myself here so I can do a little intro. Today I want to talk to you guys and girls on how to set yourself up for streaming for Pokemon on OBS, Streamlabs OBS. For those who are entirely new to the subject, keep watching this. If you know how to use Streamlabs OBS, then go ahead and check out part two of the video where I set up a you know design for this. So yeah. I'm going to be talking about what you will need in order to do streaming. So first off, very important, you need to get a good computer or a computer with great specs. You could build a computer like I have here um, and make it great. My computer, I have an 8 core 4.0 gigahertz AMD FX plus CPU. I know if, if it sounds like alien talk, worry about how to build a computer or uh, b get a better computer first, then come back here. I also have a graphics card, a NVIDIA, I mean, yeah, NVIDIA GeForce GTX MSI Founders Edition 1070 or something. Basically, it has 8 gigs of RAM, uh, of GPU, 8 gigs GPU, and it has CUDA cores and all that. I'm not sure if all that's necessary, the CUDA cores and all that, but yeah. Hi, Winky. We'll need a webcam if we want to show our pretty faces to the people. The webcam does have a microphone, so I could use that, but I like using an actual microphone here, and I'm a music person. I don't know if you see these knobs and shit and keyboards everywhere, but yeah. If you do get a microphone, there's two types of microphones. There's an XLR microphone, which has three different prongs, like this, something like that, like, like that. That's, that's gonna be the connections. Or there's a USB type. So if you get a USB, microphone you are set you don't need um, the audio interface but if you do have an XLR cable you will need an audio interface audio interfaces like the Focusrite Scarlet 2i4 is pretty cool there's also the Mbox I think that's still around and the last mandatory thing that you will need is the Elgato capture card along with the Nintendo switch that you can dock in and show I'm using an Elgato HD 60 not the HD 60s that uses USB Type C. Uh, I think it can also use USB. I'm not sure. Um, this is the one that uses the USB 1.0. Yeah, the PSP type of plugs. Couple things that are optional if you wish to get is multiple monitor screens. That way you will be able to have this on a different screen. Like for example, if I put this over here, um, I could show you things on my desktop. Of course, I am in the way. I could show you things on my desktop here. Or I could um, go ahead and put this on the next screen, like so. So see, you can see me now here. And the last optional thing that you could get if you wish is Adobe Photoshop. Um, I wouldn't say it's highly recommended because they are doing subscriptions, so screw them. But if you are into drawing or graphic designing, highly recommend getting Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, Photoshop is pretty much better, if you, in my opinion that's where you're going to be doing the design work the creation stuff i'm pretty sure you could probably go on fiverr.com and ask somebody to make it or help you make it or something you could also go on a website that could do the layers and make it or there's probably things like paint tools sci that you could use or simply you can make it simple and just draw things on ms paint and use it in obs let's go over the settings that i have set on obs and that should be it for this video General settings, you could leave it here if you want. It's good like that. I don't, I, I haven't changed anything, but you could change something if you wish. Like confirmation when streaming starts. That's, that's pretty essential if you want. I'll put that on there. Okay. Next, we have stream. So here I have stream in the YouTube Omoe Gaming. This is my channel here. And to get this, you will have to go on to your, let me bring you back to Wonderland. You have to go here and over here, this icon here, mine says log out, but you could log in and then select a different variety of uh, ways to log in, like using Facebook, connect to your Facebook to do Facebook live. You can use YouTube, connect to your channels. You have Twitch, uh, you have Mixer, you have some other stuff that I didn't really look into. Maybe Twitter. I don't even know. Periscope. Is that still around? But if you want to use a custom ingest server, this is basically using, you know, putting in stream key and then you'll be able to stream. Uh, for those who don't know about the streaming key, I'll go over here and go into my settings, YouTube studio. And over here we see live streaming. You click here, wait for it. And then all the way at the bottom, here we have the encoder setup. The stream key will be here. What you have to do is click reveal, copy and paste it into here. 
Now be sure never to show people those stream keys. If you are online and you show that stream key, people could upload pornography or whatever crap they want onto your YouTube channel by doing this. So never show that stream key. Oh wait, let me go back here. Just click that, I like it like that. Output mode, I have it set on simple. Streaming, 10,000 is my bit rate, although you could get past with 7,000, 7,500, 8,000. The lower the bit, uh, the lower the bit rate, the lower the quality will be on the output. So you'll be outputting like 720p if you got it set on what, 7,000. I'm not, I'm not sure about the numbers, but if you do have the Elgato, you could go ahead and check out its quality encoding setup. It'll have a knob and it'll show you like, you know, uh, 8,000 is 1080p or 4,000 is, I don't know, 480p, 60 frames, so forth. I'm set on 10,000, I like it like that encoder i'm using my hardware this is very essential that you do get a um you know you build a computer and get a graphics card because the encoder is going to be the magic where everything is being done converted and put into live stream if you have it set on like the default or built-in computer encoder it's gonna suck ass and i don't think it'll be possible to really um stream because i tried it without it and it just cuts off on me maybe if you delay the whole stream maybe but yeah, or lower your settings on, you know, everything you use 480p or 720 or something. That's when you'll be able to get away with things. Audio bitrate, use 320 uh, kilobytes per second if you want to have the best sound when it's, you know, being encoded and changed over. If you lower the bitrate, you will be lowering the kilobytes per second, thus lowering down the quality of the sound. Um, uh, you ever heard 8-bit, 64-bit? It'll kind of be like that. Recording path, this is optional for your recording when you are just recording like how I'm doing right here I'm not streaming. I'm recording the video editing the video then putting it out. This is my path for my recording I am using an external hard drive to record into there um, Is it possible to stream and record at the same time? probably But yeah, I don't know. I recommend just doing one or the other when it comes to you know, the operation that you're doing. If anything, you could download the stream from YouTube, uh, probably in 720p if, I don't know. I don't know why they don't do it in 1080, but yeah. Um, this is all the same settings, hardware again, and, and VEC, the encoder. So yeah, replay buffer, I don't know it, I don't care about it, cool. Audio settings, 44.1 kilohertz. This is gonna be required in order to hear me in the normal way. If you lower this thing down, again, the quality will go down because it's capturing samples at a different rate and it's just not gonna connect nicely. Channels, stereo, if you use two ears, you can use stereo and stereo is pretty much the way to go. I have all these disabled, but you could enable this and put it on the default if you wish. Like if you're doing like emulations on the computer or doing the online battle thing with Pokemon, maybe Pokemon the trading card game. Yeah, if you're playing the Pokemon trading card game online, you could do it like that too and just have it there. You could also set it up in the sources, which I could show you, but not now after this. I have this all disabled just to clear up space on my mixer and put in what I want. Next we have video. This is going to be the resolution of which you'll be able to record and stream on. I set it to 1920-1080. You could probably put it higher if you have a better graphics card and all that crap. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for me. 1920-1080. I'm good like that. 60 FPS. Hotkeys. This is going to be something that I'll show you right here actually. If I go ahead and double click. You see it says E to show my webcam and R to hide my webcam. Um, I didn't have to put this here, but let me go ahead and just click here. R, E. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to go ahead and just click done here. So if I hit R and E, you can see disabled, enabled, disabled, enable. So cool. Advanced. This is what my advanced settings are. I don't believe I changed anything, but if I did, then yeah. Stream delay is pretty good for those who um, do want to, you know, I don't know, have a better thing. Although, like, um, It'll probably be a little bit late on the chat, so be wary of that. This is good for like poker players, so people won't like be able to steal or watch the stream. And be like, oh, I know you're doing this. So yeah, automatic reconnect. That's all, that's all there. Then yeah, yeah. Game overlay. Don't worry about it. I guess this this sucks. It doesn't work. Um, this right here, notifications. That's what it's set to. Appearance. This is a good tip for those who have no light. Or using dark light I can show you right now let me turn this off so notice it's dark you can't really see me that nicely go to night turn it to daytime and wow all of a sudden I have light on me 
That's because everything's white, even the screen. So, yeah. If I put this up, maybe, I'll, yeah, I'll be even brighter. Ain't that tight? Kinda. He wants to jump. You can see him. Go ahead, King. Mother. But yeah, good tip for those who do want to set the theme. I'll go ahead and put it on dark though, or nighttime to save your eyeballs. Face mask, you don't need it unless you wanna hide your face for some reason, then why get a webcam? And remote control, and never use it, don't really care about it. But yeah, that's pretty much the settings set for OBS. So that's gonna conclude this video right here. In the next video, I will go over both how to set up your scenes, sources, mixer, these three things down here, these three things down here, how to set it up, so yeah, thank you guys and girls for watching. Stay subscribed if you want to see me and my disgusting nose uh, stream. Oh God, I smell blood. Stream and do these type of things like, you know, shiny hunting. I got a perfect six IV shiny snow run hidden ability into frost last. My, that's like the best thing ever. Um, and I did it on stream where nobody was watching. So that's sad. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Justin Omoe. Be lookout part two. It's coming right after this anyways. So yeah.